I'm just finishing up with them cooling towers and uh, heading to get my breakfast burrito. Take a little break here before I hit it again. And uh, wanted you to share this. Yeah. Hell, a lot of people aren't even out of bed yet. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the day. I, I just refuse to sleep in on my days off. Oh, I wanted to check this out too. This is pretty cool. Uh, I forgot all about this. I wonder if they got it going yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta show you guys this. This is awesome. Um, this, well, other than just being an awesome looking fountain, check this out. We'll do a little. fountain review here. They pump the water up. It goes into this freaky looking dish up here. And it comes down. Goes through this lazy river here. And uh, oh, there's something about this flume. Ah. Uh, of course, being a place of education. Oh, this is so nice. I'm glad they got this going. They sure took their time getting it going this year. Isn't that cool? Steps, rocks, flat. And this is the invention. Oh good, the science here. Uh, Ralph Partial. Uh, the hydraulic laboratory invented the partial flume uh, demonstrated here which became the standard water flow measuring device employed through the world through the world and that was developed right here in Colorado and uh, I have no idea what it is or how it works I think uh, it's because of the restriction It's easier to calculate. It has something to do with the elevation. I know that. There's markers in there. I've seen these out in the irrigation. There's markers, and by the you can judge by the height of the water and do some kind of calculation for the uh, flow. 